Warn tomorrow. In the lead until he crashed only a hundred miles from the finish, Lucien Bianchi's Citroën. And what a drive it had been, with the bush roads of Australia the last straw that broke so many backs. As the final stages rolled into sight, it was a battle between British and Australian entries. Car 29, one of the Ford Falcons, which won the team award for Australia. But the first car of all to make Sydney, after 10,000 miles and 230 hours of driving, the triumphant Hillman Hunter of Scottish farmer Andrew Cowan. It's the first Hunter ever entered in an international rally. In third place, another of the Falcon team winners, driven by Australians Vaughan, Forsyth and Ellis. Second place goes to the British Leyland 1800, driven by rally ace, Ireland's Paddy Hopker. The 1800s took the second and third team prizes as well. In fourth place, a Polish entered Porsche, one of the few continental cars among the leaders. Roger Clark, whose Lotus Cortina led all the way across Europe and halfway across Australia, gets a special prize of 2,000 pounds. And here's the Land Rover, entered by the Lancers, which plugged away against all the high-performance machinery to the finish. Rather surprisingly, the winning car, the Hillman Hunter, was pretty underpowered as well deliberately detuned to anticipate the poor fuel in Asia. But the drivers were soon topping up with a celebration vintage. Andrew Cowan with his brother-in-law, Brian Coyle of Glasgow, and Colin Malkin in the hat. Their first prize is 10,000 pounds, but the most lasting reward is the tremendous boost to British exports.